It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we'll have a rematch of Super Bowl 54. Buckle up. There's football coming your way, and it comes your way next. Well, they don't call them the faithful for nothing, Brock. Fans numbering 70,000 strong have made the trek to Santa Clara, and they're ready to cheer on their 49ers here at Levi Stadium. With a very excited Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And partner, I know you're juiced up for this one. As a former QB, let's dive right in. A battle of two incredible quarterbacks awaiting us today. Yeah, Kate, there's really no disguising who to look for in this matchup. <laughs> nope. These are guys who, in a lot of ways, are the faces of their franchises. And they were the ones we saw all offseason in the ads and promos for this game as well. They're the players who feed off that pressure. They relish the chance to be in this spotlight and be the reason their team succeeds. I can't wait, and I'm expecting a special QB battle in this one. Set to go is the kicker, Harrison Butker. And off we go in Santa Clara. It's Debo Samuel with the return. Coverage team gets him down to the 26-yard line. So here come the 49ers for their opening drive. And bringing them out, you cannot call him irrelevant ever again. Took his team to the Super Bowl last year. It's Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy proved that his rookie year was no fluke. 31 touchdowns will do that. But what I loved was the efficiency, the rating. And not just me, it's what Kyle Shanahan and just listen to those 49ers teammates talk about Brock Purdy. Sure, he threw for almost 4,300 yards. But just at every turn, on every stage, this guy delivers. In fact... He became the only the eighth quarterback to take a team to a Super Bowl in their second season in the history of this league. Can't wait to watch Brock Purdy continue to take more and more steps with this invaluable experience he's gained as a young player. And he flips the field for them before being taken down. Anytime you go over half the field in one play, totally changes the complexion of the drive. They're now set up beautifully in enemy territory to end the series with some type of points. So the complexion of this drive has changed dramatically now. New set of downs inside the 35. First down, and they go right back to it. And they try to power it forward, but only a couple of yards there. Now after the run, we see some trainers headed out for an injured player who was shaken up. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. They give it to him again. And this defense offering no room at all up the gut there. No gain. Drew Tranquil brings him to the ground. No gain on that one. And now it's third and eight. You want to see the term read and react with a little video in the football dictionary? That's it. A less than ideal third and eight here. Shotgun snap for Purdy. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. That sure ended up being a worst case scenario. Pass just kept coming and coming and bearing down. And he was looking for an escape that wasn't there. It's just one of those plays in hindsight, Kate, where you really got to understand I got to cut bait, cut my losses, and avoid such a negative play. It's a punt coming from the Niners on fourth down, and Mitch Wisnowski out to boot it away. And it sails out of bounds. That's a good kick. Got all the way down to what looks like the 10-yard line before leaving the field. So here are the Chiefs out on offense for their first drive. Leading them out, fresh off a third Super Bowl title. The standard for quarterback excellence today, Patrick Mahomes. As you're running onto the field with this kind of field position as a quarterback, you're reminding yourself and your huddle, hey, let's be disciplined. Got to be on the details here. Got to take care of the football. And also encourage them and let them know that script you've been working on all week, 
And there's a lot of field and there's a lot of plays ahead of them. Don't put a score on the board. Mahomes got the throw on this first play. Able to find Smith Schuster here. And they're able to drag him down as he reaches the 15 yard line. Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them. And the group up front to find somebody to get a completion so that effort up front wasn't in vain. Out of the gun. They'll give it to him inside. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. That's a run that you'll take the result in the NFL every time. A nice play, a solid game, but it's also a run that you know and you may come back to because if you were that close to breaking off an explosive one, you really break the backs of the defense. They have themselves another first and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Kelsey makes the catch. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable, and it creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. Second and three now. Out of the gun, it's Mahomes. That finds Hunt complete. And he'll go down, and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. A nine-yard gain and good for a first down. And those are the completions they rely on in their passing game. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Blown back, gets the handoff. And he gets it forward to still about a yard out of that. Brought down by Fred Warner. Just a gain of one, and that brings up second and nine. Okay, this one, you got to be careful to just run it always on first down. You've got to break your tendencies. The casual fan, well, the casual fan knew what was coming, but more importantly, this defensive front did too. Operating from the gun. Here's Mahomes. That one finds Xavier Worthy. And he's going to be touched down a yard shy of that marker. You know, they say you never go broke taking a profit. Just find that completion. And it may not be a Benjamin, but even those little dollar bills start to add up. Third and just two to go. Throwing from the gun. This one finds Kelsey. And he's going to be drugged down, looks like, at that 37-yard line. Given 15 yards on the pickup there. And it'll be first down, Kansas City. The analytics will tell you a handful of these kind of plays per game and your odds per drive of scoring go way up. So it'll be another first and ten for him, Brock, down at the opposing 37. Now movement as somebody goes early. And for the first time today, we're going to hear from our officials. It was a blitz coming, and that got somebody to panic and jump early. It cost him five yards. They're set back five by that false start. Now 15 yards to the marker. Now they'll throw out of the gun. That pass is complete to Kelsey. Good little rip there. Looks like about six. Locked down by Fred Warner. That can be a hopeless feeling when you fire a curl out right in the zone coverage perfectly like that. Unless that curl happens to be right next to where one of your guys is sitting, that pass can come in there and there's nothing this defense can do. They send the tight end in motion. Another throw for Mahomes. Completed over the middle. And that will not be enough for a first down. You know, kid, over the years, I've heard defensive coordinators say, hey, you got to earn the right to rush the pass. you got to earn the right for me to call blitzes. And when you call a blitz and you don't get home and you don't hit the quarterback, you've earned nothing. And the 49ers in a nickel set. Third down coming. Out of the shotgun. They'll give it to him inside. And they bring him down after the play reaches the 26. 
He only finds a window for two, but that's still enough for a first down. Win the early battle. Get a little leverage. Low man wins off the line, and that's all that was needed to ensure that first down right there. Moving the ball very well out of the gate here. It's set up now at the 26. First and 10. It's Mahomes. This throw finds Justin Watson. And they bring him down at the 18-yard line. You know what I love to say? You never go broke taking a profit. And you often gain profits when you use your eyes as a quarterback. Those hitch routes, those underneath throws, oftentimes it's the eyes of the quarterback looking downfield and then taking that short completion. From the 18 on second down. Well, whether he stays the go-to guy the entire game, we, we will all judge together. But no doubt about it on that opening drive, Brock. He was the star. Bunch of catches and a touchdown to begin this one. Yeah, I think this is twofold. Number one, you love to get this guy started early. He's a playmaker. He's a difference maker. Number two, this defense, well, they better be on high alert because this offense feels like they have a matchup. They can attack and attack, and that time attack a third time for six. Now Harrison Butker for the point after. The point after splits the uprights. And the Chiefs will jump out to a 7-0 lead. Return coming from the six. This return makes it up to the 37 as he's tackled. San Francisco headed out for its second possession of the game. And they're certainly hoping for some better results here after that first drive ended in a punt. The 49ers find themselves in a great spot to start this drive. First and 10, coming up. Hand off to the back. And he stopped after running it up across the 45 to the 46. Call it nine yards. Looks like a first for a moment. It's second and one. Okay, this is why coaches across all levels of football harp on the importance of good fundamental tackling, not just to hear themselves talk. Uh-uh, it's to make sure that when one of their guys has a chance to bring down a running back, they're able to do it and keep those plays from going any further. Flushed out of the pocket. Oh, look at this, here it goes. And it's six and a first down as well. You know, before the snap, you know, right before the snap, you may have to take off if the read isn't there. That was a great adjustment made at the perfect time for the first down. First and ten, ball set up at the 48. Drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Kate, I've seen a, a one step drop. I've seen a three, a five, a seven. Some of the boots and play actions get more depth, but a 20 step trap? <laughs> That's not going to cut it, except for this defense. It just adds a whole bunch of negative yards to that play. They really need some chunk yardage here on second down. Another try following the sack. Cut by Debo Samuel. And he'll be taken down, but not until he reaches that 45-yard line. You know, they really love that drag route because he's one of those guys that can count on not only to make the catch, but create after the catch. If they don't close on him quickly, he can add a lot of yards before someone tracks him down. Let's see what they draw up on these third and seven. 
Running back sends in motion. Complete beyond the marker. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. Kid, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. They'll empty the backfield and motion him right. Pretty gets this from the pistol. And it's going to be knocked away incomplete. You know, ball skills are not just a selling point for receivers entering the draft. Teams want defenders, especially in this day and age of the passing game, who can make plays on the ball, too, especially on these deeper throws. He doesn't swat that one away. We could be looking at a huge game. To throw again, it's Purdy. Hits him on the out route. And he's going to be out of bounds. Looks like a yard or two short of the 25. I know I could sound like a broken record when I talk about timing and getting the ball out on time and on rhythm, but these outcuts, it is so imperative, and the best of them make it look oh so easy. Chance to move the chains here on third and four. Purdy to throw it. Mason there to haul it in. He's going to be out of bounds right along the 20. He gets six on that play, and it brings up a San Francisco first down. To this day, I can still see the faces of the big guys in the You call a screen like that. Instead of them just getting knocked backwards, they get to be salesmen. They get to push those linemen downfield and then tee off and go hit somebody like they did right there. Finds his target, Mason. And he's out of bounds inside the red zone, just short of the 15. When there's heat, that blitz coming off the snap, that QB's eyes, you could see it right away. He got to his check down in a hurry. But, Kate, here's the key. Quarterback and running back have to be on the same page. The two were right there, and it netted some positive yards. Alone back in the backfield, and they give it to him. And a bit of deja vu as they stop him at the line once again. You know, Kate, over the years, I've heard running backs say, there's just times you got to run in the darkness. And when linebackers fill that hole like that right in the middle of the field, he ran right into the darkness and the pain of that linebacker. They come to the line here, and this is third and six. Purdy looking to throw. Able to hit Mason, complete. And this one doesn't go far. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, when you can make a play in the open field, keep them short like that, I promise you some money will follow. So some time to maybe reconsider what to do on fourth down. That's the end of the first quarter. Neither side separating much so far. Back to Levi Stadium right after this. Fourth down now, and on comes Jake Moody for the 49ers field goal. A very short kick here from the right hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And it's dropped back down now to a four-point game. Anytime you start sniffing that red zone and you don't score six, you only come away with three points. Not what you're looking for on the call sheet. got a good one here. They've cut the lead to four as they send it away. Fielded at the seven. Find some space. He's past the 30. And a good return here as he gets it out past the 35. The Chiefs are out once again. Their offense led by Patrick Mahomes. They threw it the whole way down the field on their last drive and they welcome the same level of play on this series as well. the Chiefs in good field position here as they start out first and ten. Throwing is Mahomes. Lots a 
Peter guilty. It's grabbed inside the 30. It goes as a pickup of 37 yards. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. Just about every offense since the beginning of time, since the forward pass, Kate, has loved a tight end that can stretch the middle of the field. Man, I remember as a kid watching Kellen Winslow Sr. dice up right here between the ashes. And what a difference it can make for an offense. So the big play has him well into enemy territory and field goal range. They're inside the 30. They send one of the tight ends in motion right. First down throw, Mahomes. And his perfect start is over. And that's the first one of his throws to wind up incomplete. That was it. That was their chance to escape this series. They were looking for a way out without giving up any points, and that was their ticket off the field. Unfortunately, they just couldn't quite hang on. Mahomes trying to get here on second and ten. Has him on the quick hitter. And he's going to be out of bounds right along the 20. Kid, I promise you, if you and I got to travel the country and watch young quarterbacks, even really good high school quarterbacks, out routes are the hardest to complete. Slants, goes, fades, all that stuff comes somewhat naturally. But really trusting yourself to throw that out route, that comes with time and experience. Again, the home's to throw. He has the first over the middle. And he's going to be taken down near the eight-yard line. It's a real solid pickup, 12 yards, and it rewards him with a first and goal. Gosh, I really like this receiver on that drag route in particular. Why? Because he's a guy that creates after the catch. They don't close quickly. He can take it to the house. They'll try and punch it in. And the middle holds. They don't get anything on the run. No gain that time. And now it'll be second and goal. You know, Kate, these are the situations in training camp that I love more than anything to watch. You learn so much about a football team in these goal to go situations. You know you got to protect that goal line in the defense. Well, it did the job on first down. More to come. The throw is caught. And that's a Kansas City touchdown. So Rock, this offense looking sharp here in the first half as they extend their lead. You know, and when things are going well, sometimes you really just get into a groove. And this is a unit that's putting the pieces together. Butker to try the point after. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Chiefs drive their lead to 11. Butker on now to kick this one away. Return starts at the three. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Now out comes the San Francisco offense. And down double digits, Brock. Field goals like we saw in their last drive aren't going to move the needle as much as they need to. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Purdy setting up that play action. He's going to loft one deep to the left. And he's there to send that one away incomplete. You know, I don't fault that look at all Kate downfield. It was just an excellent defensive play to deny him the ball and knock it away. That is good on good. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Shotgun snap for Purdy. 
Dumps it off to his running back. He pushes it up across the 30 before going out. Some certainly do it better than others, Kate, but every running back in the league today has got to do just that. You cannot be a one-dimensional back in the league anymore. You can't. you got to be able to handle your business, both toting the ball as a runner and, really importantly, as a check-down outlet on short throws. IU put in motion left. On third down, Purdy. Into the hands of Samuel, complete. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. The smartest pass catchers I've ever been around, they know how to set up an outcut beautifully. They recognize when they have leverage, how to sell the deep route, and then boom, they just break it out as if it's nothing. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. They kick the running back in motion. Purdy on first down. Short pass brought in. Gets it to the 15. And he does quite a bit of damage before they finally take him down. Speaks to this guy's talent is just an all-around difference maker, playmaker. You see him line up as a receiver, and we don't even bat an eye, Kate. And we don't really bat an eye when he makes that kind of play either. This guy's just different, built for the moment. Jake Moody on for the PAT. Right down the middle, it's good. And the 49ers cut the lead down to four. We've got a good one here. They've cut the lead to four as they send it away. Nicole Hardman now on the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Offense heading out now for the Chiefs. They have played lights out on offense. Scored their first two times out, Brock. A chance to go three for three and grow that lead here. start out with a first and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Escapes the pocket. He takes it himself. And he protects himself with a slide there after a decent game. Tick, 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 tick. You know, his internal clock right there told him it was time to escape, and good thing he listened to it. He was able to make something out of nothing and at least move them forward. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Running back sets in motion. Operating from the gun. Here's Mahomes. Out left, Worthy makes the grab. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. across the 45 to the 46. It's a solid seven-yard pickup on first down. Now they're going to have second and three. 
I'm not kidding you, Kate. A run of that length at the NFL level, honestly, is the equivalent of a run of 15 plus at the high school level. It's hard in the one game to make yards, and they just got a very successful one. From the 46. Turf couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. Travis Kelsey, the intended target. And now they'll face a third and three. You know, I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps or just had a surprise break in concentration. So unusual to see one dropped unless there's a hit involved. Pistol now for Mahomes. It was low, but it couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. A bit of a concentration drop on that one. And that'll bring up fourth and three. That drop ruins the payoff to a well-designed play. It got a man open to beat the coverage. That's a call they can revisit in the future with hopefully a much better job finishing the catch. Fourth down and on comes the punt team and the kicks away. And the coverage team is there as he fields it. So almost nothing on that return before he stopped. The 49ers and this running back headed back out for a new series. And he sure has proven to be a handful for them, grabbing their attention as a runner, but actually doing a good bit of damage as part of the team's passing game, too. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Tranquil brings him to the ground. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. Assignments were tested, and they were ready for it defensively. That's an excellent stop at the line. And it's going to make this offense seriously question revisiting that call. They kick the running back in motion. Working out of the gun, it's Purdy. It is cut left side. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and ten. Play action now with Purdy. Makes the pop and bounds off. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to move in the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. Talk about a golden opportunity at an immediate first down following that encroachment flat. Looking to throw, Purdy. And that's incomplete. Wanted to dial up the aggressiveness there like that, but couldn't connect. Second down. You hear defensive coaches preach this all the time about not giving up the big play. Keep everything in front of you. They're going to need to stay vigilant because he's definitely a receiver who can take the lid off of a defense. To throw again, it's Purdy. That one's incomplete over the middle. Connection on the last play, and out third down. From the gun is Purdy. We'll get this complete to Jennings. 
And he's going to be brought down at the 23-yard line. He finds him 16 yards and a new set of downs. Boy, they sure found the right route at the right time to hit the soft spot in that coverage. And that slant, it goes for big yardage. He brings the offense up now for a first and 10. to the other and give him a chance to make a play he'll throw it yet again he makes the catch for the 10th round touchdown the 49ers take a second quarter lead Debo Samuel the touchdown exactly the play they were looking for Brock they saw it and he put it right on the money yeah, it really was a perfect play. This is what it looked like in practice, but more importantly now to get it done in game time, that's what you're looking for. Amazing when it all comes together. On is Moody for the extra point. The point after splits the upright. And the 49ers push their lead to three. to kick it away. Here's Moody. Has this at the six. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Kansas City offense back out there and set to go. And they'll try for better results this time around, Brock, after they had to punt it away last time out. down completion sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield after a good pickup they're set up with second and short from the 36 that finds Hunt complete and they catch up to him but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down an excellent game, 20 yards there, and that's going to move the sticks. So many cool fundamentals on display right there, Kate. Look the ball in your hands, number one. Don't turn your eyes away from it before it gets to you. And then when you've got that catch secured, snap that head forward and find that space upfield to turn a good play into a great play. First and 10, it's Mahomes. It's cut right side by Watson. And he's going to get it out past the 40 before he goes out. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. A give now from the gun. And this is pushed ahead for a gain of five. Leonard Floyd bringing that play to a close. A gain of five, and that brings us to the two-minute warning. Third and a lone yard coming up. Now it's Mahomes. Complete beyond the marker. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. 
six yards on the play and enough for a first. tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the combine, because there's nobody defending you. Nobody wants to hit you. But that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch. So Brock, good work there to finish off the drive in the end zone and retake the lead. You just get this feeling every once in a while in games, this sucker's going to be a back-and-forth football game. So what a great job offensively to jump out in front here in the first half of play. Point sent right down the middle. And the Chiefs take a four point lead. Turn starts at the five. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. But well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call, 1-844-MADDEN-1, and make your case for who should get a boost. Pretty throwing here on first. Kittle brings it in. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. We'll get a timeout here taken by the 49ers. That's going to be their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. Purdy on first down. That's brought in by Jennings. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy in midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. San Francisco calls it second timeout. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. the 48. Brought in by Ayuk. And he's officially in enemy territory now. They're going to give him the opposing 49. A pickup of two, maybe three, but most importantly, Brock, that's enough to move the six. Offense up to the line fast. Just before halftime, we get a timeout taken. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. They are throwing it again. Throwing for the end zone. And we all saw it. Flag 
came out just before that one fell incomplete. They may still get some big yards out of this one. So halftime has to wait one more snap. That pass interference call means we've got an untimed down coming up. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. So we've arrived at halftime. The Chiefs with a lead so far on the road. Now we're on to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman ready to bring us the EA Sports Halftime Report. All yours, Coach. Take it away. All right, Kate. Thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been all you could hope for as an NFL fan. Just a one-point game here at halftime. This has been as much fun as you could hope for with both these teams in it to win it. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. The first half controlled by the offenses, Brock. Let's see if the defenses can take over in the second half. We're underway. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Chiefs ready for their next series, led out on offense by their quarterback. And as we're reminded of some of the highlights of this game, his touchdowns ranking quite high among them. We're going to see three of them here, and if you're scoring like that, Brock, it normally means you've had a pretty darn good game. Get this drive started. First and ten. Now play action. It's Mahomes. Called in by Worthy. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Hey, let's get those next-gen stats out here, Kate. See just how far he had to run between the snap of the football and when he finally got the throw. Did a beautiful job of settling down into zone coverage even though it took him a whole lot of distance to get there. Great start to the drive. They're up in the neighborhood of midfield after just one play. Going on first down, Mahomes. That's too far in front, and it's not going to be caught. They would sure love to connect on some of these intermediate throws, those true throws. Getting a completion like that, well, not only does it spark your offense, but it just sets you up for even more aggressive play calling. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. From the gun, it's Mahomes. That's knocked away by a defender, incomplete. That one vehemently slotted away. And things look tougher now with third and long. How many times do defenders hear from their coaches, read and react, read and react? you got to read where the quarterback's eyes are going, and more importantly, you've got to react as he begins to throw and knock that ball away. Third down, it's Mahomes. That's caught by the first. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. It's a 21-yard gain. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. Every offense I've ever seen from Pop Warner to the NFL has got this play in the playbook, but every offense isn't capable of executing it because it takes a quarterback and a receiver on the same page, and that page, it was textbook. Again, Mahomes to throw. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps, where he just had a surprise break in concentration. It's so unusual at this level to see a drop pass unless there's a hit involved. Couldn't connect on first, it's second down. Back to the air, Mahomes. Now to his wide out, it's a screen. And he's brought down for a loss. You call that receiver screen, and every once in a while, that wide receiver, well, he's got to be his own blocker. He's got to make the first guy or two miss. That didn't happen. Play goes nowhere. Niners countering with a fifth defensive back on his third down. Another throw for Mahomes. 
That pass is complete to Kelsey. And this one does not go far. Those little short throws, they are high percentage and certainly bread and butter. But they really run the risk of a quick tackle just like that and being stopped short of the sticks. So on fourth down, the Chiefs field goal units and Harrison Butker headed out. On the left hash, this will be from 50. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And that'll push their lead to four. A lot of them may make it look automatic, but you get this deep, and those field goals are far from a certainty. It took all this concentration, every bit of his strength, to send that puppy through. Samuel now to return it. Coverage team gets him down to the 26-yard line. The 49ers headed back out on offense as we get another look at Brock Purdy. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Shotgun snap for Purdy. Able to hit Mason. Complete. He's corralled after a modest four-yard gain. Drew Tranquil brings him to the ground. Translatable skills. That's what you call it. So effective as a runner. But those same traits that make him a great runner, adept at getting those yards, well, he translates it now as a receiver in the open field. Pretty gets this from the pistol. Flush down out to his left. He tucks it and takes off. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stops. That's just a case where you're trying to make something when there really is nothing there. There just wasn't an opening for him to work with and he was lucky to get what he could. Extra man in the secondary now for the Chiefs on third down. On the gun is Purdy. He's on the move. He'll make a big point on the ground. 16 yards on the play. And that's a 49er first down. When the play breaks down, every once in a while, you got to be able to make a play with your legs. His offense counts on that ability to evade pressure and occasionally make plays just like that one. First and ten. Ball set up at the 48. Running it now out of the gun. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Three yards on the first down play, and that brings up second and seven. Running back sent in motion. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on, it's incomplete. Hey, listen, drops happen in football, even from the best at every level. Nothing more to do but shake it off and move forward, because the next throw might be right back your way. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Play action now with Purdy. Buying some time right. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. You know, when we watch the combine each and every single year, I hope you get good enough to understand as a football fan, watch the big guy's first 10 yards. Don't watch the ends and the linemen run 40. Watch their first 10 because that's the most critical. And that defensive end showed you right there the kind of explosive burst in the first few yards to get home for the big sack.
The 49ers are lined up in punt formation. And this will be his second effort of the contest. That's taken at the 15. And he gets his guys a few yards before they bring him down in return. That one an impressive 57-yard kick. And the Chiefs will get set to go on offense. start out with a first and ten. Out of the gun, it's Mahomes. It's incomplete. Should have been a catch downfield, but off his hands and to the ground it goes. Well, that's a major missed opportunity for the offense and a sigh of relief for the defense. They've got to adjust a little bit. Get some extra help on the back end of your defense to take those shots away. As a defense, you got to see the pass. you got to time up your hit, and you've got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well-placed hit. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Here's Mahomes now. Watson with the catch. That'll go for an 18-yard gain. And it'll be first down Kansas City. Well, that one was drawn up and delivered beautifully, efficiently. If it's not circled on the call sheet already, you better believe it is now. Let's see how they attack this first down block from the 43. Tight end going in motion here. Some space around midfield. And they get this down to the 44 before he stopped. It's a pickup of 14 yards as the chains reset. On the 44 yard line now, first and 10. Throwing again, Mahomes. He's got Watson. And they're going to haul him down a step before the 30, right at the 31. Give him 13 on that play. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. Able to find Smith Schuster here. And this almost ended worse, but he gets a yard out of this. The Amador Lenore, they're on the stop. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. He'll throw it yet again. Finds his man, it's worthy. And they can't bring him down until he gets into that red zone at the 19. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. Working inside the red zone. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. This one intended for the running back. So second down coming up. You know, Kate, we see this all the time at every level of football. You've got to catch it first. It's just like when a receiver receives a handoff. You've got to secure the ball, then let your athleticism take off.
should know this by now, Brock. I don't know if you're a, a Broadway guy, but there's a lot of names that belong on the playbill for this lead we've got here. But uh, but his name belongs on the marquee as he brings in his second touchdown grab. Yeah, a bunch of contributors all throughout this roster. No, not a Broadway guy. And with two <laughs> scores now, it's what, a two-score game? Yep. Easy to see he's been one of the key actors throughout. Appreciate the honesty. Butker to try the point after. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Chiefs drive their lead to 11. Butker on now to kick this one away. Samuel now to return it. This return makes it up to the 25. The San Francisco offense headed out to take over. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. Okay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And, man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Purdy. Finds his target, Mason. Defense all over that throw. You could just smell it. They just smelled that football coming their way, and that's as good as an incompletion. And they're going to be in a good spot, second down coming up. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Give now to the running back. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time, big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. New set of downs for him at the 38. Running back, motioning right. Pretty throwing here on first. Stepping up and he's going to run. He's going to go down right along the midfield strike. Pick up a 12 on that play. And it brings up a San Francisco first down. Well, there was no sense in taking a risk down the field when a first down was just a run away. They'll get to reset now and figure out just how they want to attack a new set of downs. First down throw by Purdy. It's brought in by Jennings. The flag's down as he stops. Looks like this one's on the offense. Fighting all he could to keep his quarterback upright, but cross the line there. That earns the holding penalty. Purdy setting up that play action. Escapes. Trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Hey, God bless the Ted Washingtons, Casey Hamptons, Vince Wilforks, all the run stuffers back in the day. But the D tackles of today, you not only have to step the run, you have to eat up the pass, too. And that D tackle just got it done. Let's see what they dial up on a second and very long. Trying again, following the set. Short throw, he's dropped. This one's incomplete. Had that one, but just couldn't see it through. So they're left facing third and long. You know, anytime you see a player tapping his chest, I'm not a great lip reader, but I know exactly what that says. My bad. My fault. Quarterback delivers him a good ball. He knows that's one he should have caught. 
Here he is on third and long. And he just gets rid of this one, but unfortunately, that means fourth down coming up. That was a situation where he got the time in the pocket he needed. There just wasn't anyone open to throw it to. It got to the point he had two choices as that clock is going off in his head. Force a throw and risk a pick, or just get rid of it and cut your losses on the play. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. He has it at the 22. And before that return amounts to much, they bring him down. The Chiefs headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. They've got first down from the 31. The give now out of the shotgun. And he gets up for a gain of about four. He'll expect more from himself on those type of plays, but there is nobody that's going to complain about that one. If you can do math, four plus four plus four equals a first down. Second and six coming up here. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Gets this one to Watson. And he's going to get this up close to the 40 before going out. There's no negatives ever on a great sheet for a completion, but that's one of those situations. If you're going to take a risk and throw an out route, you'd sure like to see a little bit more yardage gained. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. Ooh, the hard count works. Somebody jumped. I think this is going to give them the first. Well, it's not a long walk to the new spot, but it is a disappointing one to make. Instead of third down, they're now defending first and ten. They'll have a new set of downs following that defensive penalty. They'll run here following the penalty. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. Good rip on first down. That brings up second and two. You know, okay, these are some of the little hidden plays in a game. It right? doesn't look like a whole lot on the stat sheet, but A, it gets a good yardage, B, it sets up your play action, and C, most importantly, keeps that defense guessing. Off the play fake, it's Mahomes. On target to Worthy. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. So we hit the end of the third quarter. This one not out of reach quite yet, but it is a two-score game to begin the fourth. The drive picks up here, first and ten. To the air, Mahomes. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on, it's incomplete. Looking for Travis Kelsey that time. So it'll be second down. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage. And that really did help force the incompletion. No dice on that prior pass, here's second down. They bring their tight end left. Second and 10 now. Has him on the quick hitter. Decent game here, but short of the first. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on a throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. Third and just two to go. Another throw for Mahomes. Touchdown, Kansas City! Well, as they drive forward to what right now looks like it should be a win, Brock. He sure has taken advantage of a nice little chance to boost his stat line. His second touchdown of the game.
Yeah, you just kind of feel these two building some trust, right? Just mm. more and more equity, certainly paying dividends in this one, but more than likely for more games to come. But Kerr to try the point after. The point after splits the upright. And the Chiefs push their lead to 18. Butker on now to kick this one away. Returning it from the four. And this drive will start inside the 25. The 49ers back on offense and set to take over. They struggled to produce on that last series, but better results ahead as they take possession here. They're out and set, first and ten. Putting the tight end in motion. Purdy on first down. Into the hands of Kittle. And he'll get it up to the 27. Just stay on schedule. Just stay on schedule, right? SOS. Bad thing on a ship. <laughs> Good thing on a football field. Even a little completion keeps this offense on schedule. Second down now, seven to go. Running back sent in motion left. Pretty gets this from the pistol. Buys time, rolls. Oh, he was on the move, but so is the defense, and they take him down. And that pushes him back, third down coming up. Kate, I can already read the headlines tomorrow. This offensive line can't protect. This offensive line, this offensive line. But it's more than that. When you give up five sacks in a game, it's a complete breakdown of everybody offensively. Play caller, quarterback, offensive line. Yeah, they're going to have to regroup and figure out how to protect this quarterback first and foremost. Got to figure out this third down here. From the gun is Purdy. And that's a win for the pass rush. Hit as he threw it. Leads to the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. That is a DB's best friend, pressure. That pressure earned that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target and hit him to alter that last second attempt to get rid of it. They'll bring out the punter here. And after that drive went backwards, he's going to send this one forward. And he's brought down before the return gets far. The Chiefs offense out to take over. And all the touchdowns are sure going to catch some eyes around the league, but sure not unexpected for those of us who saw how well he was throwing it back when he got his first couple of scores. Yeah, and if anything, he's only continued to improve and play better as this defense tried and tried and failed and failed to find any way to slow him down. All right, the Chiefs in good field position here as they start out first and ten. Plowing up the middle. And the plunge up the gut yields nothing there. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. Stopped right at the line, but might as well have been a loss of yards as far as the offense is concerned. It's always humbling when you try force versus force, and the defense wins out. Play action, it's Mahomes. Why not go back to it again if it's working? Complete. And he's able to get it past midfield and down onto the 49er side. Oh, 
Third down, one yard to go. They'll try and pick this up on the ground. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. They get an even 10 on that play. And it'll be first down, Kansas City. You know, Kate, if you notice those guys that, that love to feed themselves on the field, right, they love to just get more and more. They're hungry for even more. I'll tell you what, that tackle, it prevented something that's going to be a lot bigger. But that back remains hungry. And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. Running it after the penalty. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Uh, you know, Kate, these are not the plays that are like bold in the stat sheet when you look back on it. But these are the kind of gains by the running back that keep the offense on schedule and move the chains. Up to the line, and they're set. First and ten. Motioning the tight end left. First down throw, Mahomes. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. It was there, he just couldn't corral it. And we'll see what they do here on second down. Hey, listen, drops happen in football. It is a part of the game, even for the very best. Nothing more to do about it now than shake it off and move forward, because the next throw might be coming right back your way. from the gun. Here's Mahomes. Defender arrives right as the ball does and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Tried connecting with Xavier Worthy there. And that's going to leave him with a tough third and long. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. Third down. It's Mahomes. such a good day offensively for the guys up front. That's actually the first sack by this defense. And now comes the real question mark. Will it lead to more? Or will this offense learn a lesson and get back to the rhythm they've been in protecting? So on fourth down, the Chiefs field goal units and Harrison Butker headed out. He was money on his first field goal, Brock. His second coming a little inside of 50 yards. Get another shot across the bow of a ship that's already sinking here, Kate. He could have made that field goal. Heck, he could have turned around and kicked it directly at his coach because it feels like they've got this one in hand. Butker on now to kick this one away. Here's a return from the seven. He stopped on the return at the 27. So here come the 49ers on offense. And I'm sure they're tired of bringing out the punter, Brock. They're hopefully going to give him some rest this time around and find some points to go after that lead. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Shotgun snap for Purdy. Nice work by the back here. Playing safety valve complete. And nothing doing on that run. Defenders bottle it up quickly. Man, the defense was all over that throw. Able to stop it right at the line. They could smell that one coming, and they sniffed it out in a hurry. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And he'll take this up to around the 30-yard line. 
A gain of about three, so a third of what they needed. Third and six coming up. You make that call to just give yourself a fighting chance on third down, Kate. Take at least a little bite out of the big meal between them and the first down marker. And that, that should make this upcoming call a little less daunting. On third down, Purdy. He puts some power on a deep one left. And disaster avoided. He knocks away the deep ball incomplete. That one intended for Brandon Ayuk. And now they're up against it here on fourth down. I know a DB in the stat sheet loves to see INT and not PBU, but as soon as he realized a pick was impossible, he does the next best thing and knocks it away. Ayuk put in motion left. Here he goes. Got to have this on fourth down. Little try forcing it to the slant. It's intercepted. Drew Tranquil with the pick. And the Chiefs almost took it all the way back. Oh, what a return. Down to the five. I know he started the play as a defender. But gosh, he looked good, didn't he? Running it back. He looked like a receiver navigated on that return. The way he saw the field, he baited obstacles, and he chewed up yardage in the open space. Wouldn't well, make those offensive coaches and teammates proud. We've seen defensive players get touches on occasion, and I think he just gave himself maybe a look on that side of the ball down the road. The visitors and Xavier Worthy back in possession here. Even though they've got a three-score lead, still a lot of time left, so they're going to try to grow it even further. Got it off that interception, Brock. Let's see if they can pay that off with points. Here's first and goal. Out of the gun, it's Mahomes. And that is caught. It's a Kansas City touchdown. The Chiefs put up even more points in a win. Well, they certainly wasted no time in making that turnover hurt even more. They looked to the end zone on the very first play, Brock, and they connected. You know, Kate, I love it. It was an ambush to begin the drive. They attacked that end zone against a defense who was out there on short notice and not ready for that sudden change they talk about. Butker to try the point after. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Chiefs grow their lead yet again. Butker on now to kick this one away. Samuel now to return it. Now bottle him up as he gets the return to the 30. The 49ers returning their offense and this running back to the field. First and ten now from the 30. Play action now with Purdy. That throw finds Kittle. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. The goal of that little drag route is to get him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. That picked up a good chunk, and it was nearly a big play. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Blown back in the backfield, and he gets the handoff. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. Five yards on that play, and enough for a new set of downs. Well, looky here. You don't even have to worry now about a third down call as that run moves the sticks. Now that call you had ready, though, you can recycle it. Save it for later for that next third down coming. 
and kick the running back in motion. Working out of the gun, it's Purdy. He's on the move. He can run it. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. a whirlwind tour and watched young quarterbacks the hardest route to complete is this one a lot of them could throw go routes and slants and drags and in cuts but throwing that out route takes some time takes some precision and a whole bunch of trust between qb and receiver running back sent in motion second and one into the hands of samuel complete and they can't bring him down until he gets into that red zone at the 19. They get 13 on the pickup, and it brings up a San Francisco first down. Well, there's a time to be a little finessey with the football, put a little touch on, and then there's time to put your arm into it and let it eat, throw it right through your target's chest. This one, well, that one right there was the ladder. Smart to make a fastball zing in before anyone could undercut the curl route. Good luck defending that short yardage slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. Second and six coming up here. A tight end in motion now. Blown back, it's the handoff. And he'll pick up a little down to the 12-yard line. Give him two on the run, and that's going to set him up with third and four. Lengthy fourth down try here. They need six. Purdy looking to throw. He finds him beyond the marker. He has the San Francisco touchdown. Well, Brock, this one has not been good to them so far, but they are still fighting and able to get in there for six. Just a drive that was all about scratching and clawing. As much as anything, Kate, it was just a pride drive to go and get your job done. On is Moody for the extra point. Right down the middle, it's good. And the 49ers cut the lead by a quarter, down out of 21. Well, don't look up at the clock, everybody. That is certainly not their friend as they get set to try an onside kick. Oh, the 49ers are saying they have it. It looks like they do. All right. 
right, so a positive play for them, if nothing else. Game seems pretty far out of reach at this point, but still, had to try the onside kick in that spot. You know what that was? It was two things, Kate. A, it's a good chance to practice your onside kick in a pretty low-pressure environment, but B, and so much more importantly, is down the road in a game where you're going to really need it, that gives you the confidence that you can get it done. Pretty throw in here on first. He completes it in traffic. And he's brought down right in the neighborhood of that 40 yard line. First down now, ball at the 39 yard line. Here's Purdy to throw. Able to hit Mason, complete. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Well, if they were concerned about losing yards, running it on first down, it just happened anyway. Not many passes end in a loss. Hopefully they got a little more aggressive strategy coming here on second down. Second and 15. Hits his running back. And out of bounds right at the 40-yard line. It is so hard for these defenses. I don't envy them at all. to try to monitor where these running backs are. Are they chipping? Are they delaying their route? He's such an underrated part of their overall passing game. Chiefs in a nickel set for this third down call. To throw again, it's Purdy. Complete beyond the marker. And he pushes this down to the 22-yard line. San Francisco calls it second timeout. And they can take a moment to try to build more momentum after getting that first. Purdy throwing here. He brings it in. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of down. And even 20 yards on the play, and it awards them with a first and goal. Well, you don't normally get that type of back from so You're just looking for a little short yard gain. They find the right type of athlete with space to work before and a perfectly placed ball after the catch. That's a perfect play to break it big. Gets it towards the end zone, but it's incomplete. I just hate that. I just hate to see that everything on the play was done so well. Everybody did their job, but you got to finish. You don't get many chances to make that type of play for your team. you got to come through on that touchdown. So the incompletion on first. Here's second and goal. From the gun is Purdy. In two possessions. George Kittle, the touchdown! When you reach the status that he has around the league, Brock, well, we all at this point expect him to be making plays like this when he's targeted down near the end zone. Yeah, I think the best thing I can say about this dude is he makes it look easy a lot of the time. And this game, trust me, is never easy. It speaks to how well he plays this position. On his Moody for the extra point. The point after splits the upright. And the 49ers get it back to a 14-point game. So even after the score, they're still down two possessions. Time not exactly on their side as they try this onside kick. And the Chiefs are able to make that recovery. That should lock up this win. And he's going to be brought down after reaching the 43. The 
visitors are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. Victory formation here. Looks like they're going to take a knee on first down. The Chiefs in a victory formation here as they take a knee. The 49ers will call their third and final timeout. That's all they had, so the offense free to start running the clock down now. Lining up to take a knee on second down. Your favorite formation, right Brock, the victory formation here as he takes a knee. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot, and now you can enjoy the victory. Setting up for the kneel down on third. So it's a win for the visiting Chiefs. And it was a game for fans of high-scoring football, wasn't it? I know Brock was enjoying seeing both of these offenses work and really not a lot to dislike from either group. Just one side working at a slightly better clip than the other. That was the difference in the win.